Okay, so a lot of people are not ready to have these conversations, but here are three random things about love that I think needs to be talked about. The first thing is a lot of people confuse the first love with the first person they lusted after. The two are not the same. A lot of people confuse them. That's why you have a high divorce rate in the United States and you have more baby daddies than you do fathers for your children. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? I know, I know, but is it not true? Okay, moving on. Okay, second thing. A lot of people don't really discuss how difficult it is to be like neurodivergent and try to find love because most of the time you're like, oh, I don't know if people realize how weird or like bizarre I'm going to be behind closed doors, you know? So it's like sometimes you feel like you can't really find your match or like you don't want to pretend or like, oh, I'm normal, be normal just to find love. But really you want to find somebody who's going to accept you with all that you come with, right? Also to that, you know, without being neurodivergent, I think that when you're in your thirties, it's a little more difficult to find love, you know, especially in 2023. I mean, Tinder is not it, Hinge is not it. Um, like, do you, uh, can you still write letters and say, you know, do you want to go out with me? Yes, or, yes, uh, yes or no? Oh, that's that's why I'm single. Oh, um, anyway, the third thing is living together. Like, when do you move in with the person? Is it too soon? Like, and when you do move in with the person, it's like you're with them all the time. So I personally think that a lot of people will stay together longer if you had separate bedrooms. Or I even know some people that, you know, have separate apartments. Either way, either way, it's, you know, you want to be able to be yourself inside the relationship and not always be attached to the hip to that person. I mean, can I have my own room? You know, can I have my own bathroom? You know, um, anyway, it's not just a me thing, but I feel like as we you know, progress in the years and millennials start to get older and the boomers start to fade away that maybe the separate room thing is going to be the norm or just wishful thinking, I don't know. Okay, and here's a bonus thing about love. You can find out more about your love language, the way you like to give love and receive love based on your Venus placement and your natal chart. Find out what your Venus placement is and see the way that you have experienced love and the way you genuinely like to receive love. And I guarantee you those two things match up. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, love you. Bye.